Hello and welcome to Decorate Your Life. This is a shabby chic loaded envelope tutorial inspired by my friend Yorlis. Some of the items that were used in the making of this shabby chic loaded envelope were provided by the following. Creating with details, KS4U, JNS Hobbies and Crafts, Stay True to God, and Spellbinders. A couple of months ago, my friend Yorlis uploaded a shabby chic loaded envelope that she had created for a challenge, and I was intrigued. I knew I wanted to make one. And surprisingly enough, there are really not that very many videos out there on the snail mail genre. So, taking my cue from Poet Spice's Christmas in July, I decided to surprise somebody and make my very own shabby chic loaded envelope so that I can give it away to one of my subscribers. Now, I use all my envelopes, my manila envelopes, to send out happy mail and I really didn't want to use any one of those for my loaded envelope. So, I decided to use a bag instead. Now, I have some leftover bags that I purchased from Michaels. They went for around seven cents a piece. And I thought, you know what? These could make some really great loaded envelopes. I decided to use one of my Heidi Swap paper pads. As you can see, it has some really great shabby chic papers. And as you will see in this loaded envelope tutorial, there is a lot of eye measurement. And since I'm dealing with just one item, meaning the bag, I really didn't see any necessity for me to start measuring things and jotting things down. It was just basically whatever came to the imagination and as long as I could make it fit, I was happy with it. And as far as the level of difficulty, I would give it about a 7 on a scale from 1 to 10. And not because it's utterly difficult to create, but because so many items are going to go into this loaded envelope. And I have used my dies, I have used trims, and all sorts of things. So, um, and as far as time-wise, it should only take about a couple of hours. Now that is for me because I am pretty slow when it comes to crafting. I do a lot of looking at things and a lot of thinking of how I'm going to do this, this and that. So um, I guess time wise it's however whatever your crafty style is. Now what you saw me do a moment ago, I do use my ruler to measure where my split is going to be and of course you do want to center this so you're going to put a mark on the center and how far down you want it to go, you want it to cut so that you can create your flaps. Now, as far as adding paper to the inside of your flaps, that is your personal choice. Uh, in this instance, I chose to add some paper to my flaps, but keep in mind that the more paper you add to your bag, the bulkier it's going to get. And once you have taped down your flaps to your loaded envelope and you have created the pocket that you see at the bottom, uh, you can go ahead and start decorating. Now I'm going to address the cutting that you saw me do at the sides of the bag. Because of all the paper that I'm adding to this bag, it did make it bulky. So what I had to do was snip a little bit, about maybe an inch, on each side so that I would be able to fold the flaps without that much difficulty. Those beautiful laces and trim and the applique were provided by Creating with Details. And this beautiful set of roses was provided to me by KS for you.
And this beautiful pack of flowers was provided to me by JNS Hobbies and Crafts. And these cute teensy tiny roses were given to me by Stay True to God. And to decorate the top of my bag, I use dies provided by Spellbinders, and I use the Spellbinders prism, which was also provided to me by Spellbinders. That's pretty much it friends. So tell me, what do you think of my version of the loaded envelope? You don't necessarily have to have an envelope to create one of these beauties. I hope the recipient likes it. Thank you so very much for watching my video. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. I will see y'all again real soon. Bye.